In Mexico, volunteers went to a flood-affected area in order to evaluate and establish a named list. Master Zhenyan encourages the younger generation of Dharma Masters to lead more people into the path of doing good deeds. Welcome to Die Headlines, I'm Hu Chao. Thank you for tuning in. In Tula Hidalgo, Mexico, in September, the river surged due to heavy rains, causing 2,300 households to be affected. Local volunteers went to the disaster-stricken area to investigate the disaster and established a named list, planning a large-scale distribution, which will be held in December. In September, a hurricane struck and flooded the city of Tula, causing no water and electricity. In one of affected hospitals, despite the emergency evacuation, there are still COVID patients who have passed away. 2,300 households were affected, the worst disaster in 40 years. Two months later, the disaster area is still muddy and difficult to navigate. Ania lives on the fourth floor. Until now, everything is still in the water. There is nothing left. The things in my brother's house are also soaked in water. Washing machines, home appliances, and everything is out of use. George's house also had structural problems, but he couldn't leave because he couldn't pay the rent. Recalling that there were only two canes to live on, he choked. In Mexico, there are less than 10 Zhiji volunteers, and most of them live in the city, which is 90 kilometers away. After the disaster occurred in September, volunteers rushed back and forth to understand the needs of the victims. After completing the name list, volunteers hoped to carry out a large-scale distribution in December to help the residents in need. Jingsi Abode is a spiritual home of Zhiji people around the world. In order to maintain the solemn Buddhist pure land, Zhiji volunteer Wu Wenliang from Yilan will bring repair volunteers from over Taiwan to the abode to repair the buildings, hoping that everyone who returns home will enjoy a clean and comfortable space. <laughs> Shave off the old paint on the surface and then apply new paint for maintenance. At the end of the year, the Jingsi abode was renovated for nearly a month, including the inside and outside of the hall and the roof of the main hall, windows, handrails, and so on. As for the main hall, the master said that our own home should be built for volunteers. Since then, we will come back for repairs when we have time. The boss of the lumber company first teaches us, and then we slowly learn from him. As long as there is a damage that needs to be repaired and repainted, there are maintenance volunteers from all over Taiwan to return to their spiritual home to help. None of them have expertise in carpentry, but I think right person in the right place. As long as they are diligent enough, it is not a problem. Professionalism is up to me, and they can cooperate. A simple paint playing action like this requires not only strength, but also skill. What is most needed is confidence and patience. Kneeling on the ground and scrubbing off the damaged wood plank was a team led by professional painter Wu Wenliang. As long as they are willing to contribute, they can join together. You scrape it to the end and see if the wood is good. If the wood is good, you don't need to change it. It's difficult, but doing it well if you have confidence. Here, everyone maintains the environment of Jingzi abode with heart of guarding their home. With a declining birth rate in modern society, parents may be overprotective of their children. This has led many teachers to feel that their children are becoming more difficult to teach. The Zhiji Teacher Association celebrated its 30th anniversary with a special tea party, allowing retired teachers and current teachers to exchange their experiences. Here's more. The melodious sound of the zither and piano kicked off the tea party for teachers in the Shini district. This year marks the 30th anniversary of the establishment of the Zhiji Teacher Association. Leaders of the education sector gathered to share their original intentions of being a teacher. Over the past 30 years, many people have devoted themselves to this teaching and contributed their efforts. Some are really old, and some really find it inconvenient to walk. But no matter how old they are and how difficult it is, they remain committed. We all have to show our gratitude to them. With the declining birth rate in modern society, many children have endless education problems with their teachers because their parents love them too much. This has made many educators think about this problem. 
I think in current society, we have to purify people's hearts. For a child, this should be done by the teachers. And if we are willing to start from elementary school, when teaching him this, we should continue through middle school and high school, as their behavior will not develop too much. From these past activities with Ziji, we see the possibility of moral education. I think this is very important. I think this is what our school also wants to teach its children. We want them to have gratitude and cherish more character education. Another networking session was held at the Shizu Liaison Office where retired teachers exchanged experiences with current teachers. They also shared their experience with Ziji. This reason for participating in Ziji in the first place is that as long as you come, you will feel a sense of joy after participating. This kind of happiness may be different from other happiness that comes from work. Participating in a volunteer is a kind of inexplicable happiness. The Tea Party is called Three Hearts in One, as it's hoped that teachers will work together to educate the next generation with the heart of teacher, parent, and bodhisattva. Dharma Master Zheng Yan continued her island-wide tour in Taichung and had warm discussions with more than 30 media reporters, family members, and 58 Dharma Masters. Master Zheng Yan encouraged the younger generation of Dharma Masters must work for Buddhism, for the public, and to record more bodhisattvas to do more good deeds. Volunteers shared that they went to Guangyuan Temple to make a vegetarian lunch. They even sent the lunch boxes to the food and vegetable market in person and Dharma Master also accompanied them to promote vegetarianism. In the beginning, some people were not able to accept vegetarian diets, but in the end, they would say that I didn't know that vegetarian food was so delicious. Therefore, we have increased the number from 100 to 500. Master Dao Zhen from the Ziji family visited the Master. His mother has suffered from illness and has undergone more than 10 operations in recent years. He is grateful for the efforts of the medical team of Taichung Ziji Hospital. Another person who is very grateful is him. At this moment, I want to personally thank the Master. You are my mother's savior. Yu Zhengsheng's mother is a Ziji member, and she watches the ITV and does good deeds every day. She suffered severe brain damage in two car accident and was admitted to the intensive care unit. When she woke up, she didn't recognize us, but she said directly in the first sentence, how is Master Zheng Yan doing? To be able to visit Master in person, her wish is fulfilled. Master, take care of your body. Master expected the media to be clean stream of society. Good reporting is a force to stabilize the society. In Taiwan, Fafa Wang Si responded to Master Zheng Yan's vegetarian promotion. Starting from October 25th, for four weeks straight, the temple made vegetarian lunchboxes, bring the meals of love to several governmental units in Xinzhou County. Fresh vegetables, due to experienced kitchen volunteers' hands, became delicious dishes. At the end of October, Fafo Wang Si has been cooking vegetarian lunchboxes every Monday, inviting civil servants to adopt a vegetarian diet. We want the civil servants to practice loving sentient beings and themselves during their busy times working by eating vegetarian meals. They're also protecting the planet. If this trend can go from one person to many, the society will change. Though people at the temple never had vegetarian promotion experiences, they were still willing to work and cooperate with Master Zheng Yan's ideal of saving animals through vegetarianism. Every living being is equal, so through promoting vegetarianism, we will be benefited directly. Since we will be healthy, this is also a good deed, since we are convincing others to go millers. The four-week lunchbox delivery event is joined by Master Xing Yan 
as everyone at governmental units went from being not interested to interested in vegetarian meals. For four weeks, our colleagues look forward to the vegetarian lunch boxes, especially when they know that we were promoting this in order to reduce carbon emissions. They felt a need to support us. I hope that in the future this event can continue under the collaboration between Dafo Wangsi and Ziji. I believe if the Xinju County government can pave the way and affect other places in Taiwan, we can spread the ideals of reducing carbon emissions further. The first step to change the world starts from the food we eat. Refuse to eat meat, as will allow your body to be healthier and help lower the damages done to our environment. As more scientific research proves the health benefits of vegetarianism, more parents started to let their children adopt the vegetarian diet. The start of anything is hard. The same goes for vegetarianism as it has many challenges. Pediatrics doctor Ling Taiping taught parents ways to convince grandparents why children should go vegetarian. Let's take a look. Vegetarianism can protect our planet. And since I'm a vegetarian, I'm saving animals because I love animals so the world can become a better place. As medicine advances, more scientific researchers display the health benefits of a vegetarian diet. With more confidence-boosting data, the younger generation started to adopt the vegetarian diet for eco-friendliness. Though parents allow their children to adopt a vegetarian diet, during the process of changing diets, grandparents will start to worry about the health issues of a shift in diet. My mother-in-law said that my child is too little to eat vegetarian food. My relatives also told me the same thing. It's not healthy. The elders don't want me to change my child's eating preference. They want my child to continue eating meat. If my child gets sick, they will say it's because of vegetarianism. The objections from seniors comes from worries of a lack of nutrition. Pediatrics daughter Lin Taiping suggests that we must educate our elders on vegetarian benefits in order to solve their worries. The easiest method is to use a vegetarian meal like grain, a quarter protein of rice, noodle, and a quarter portion of protein, which can be beans, tofu, nuts, seeds, eggs, milk, and plain milk. The rest should be vegetables and fruits. Many seniors consider vegetarianism will only make a child thinner, though through interviewing parents, they believe that the body of a child is in a way inherited by their parents. Therefore, the claim of getting thinner shouldn't be compared with unhealthiness. Because my child has a small body type, like his mother, but I think this isn't important. What's more important is his healthiness. During the MCO, he never got sick because he slept well and ate well. He also gets satisfactory grades, and he does well in sports. He runs quite well. His performance isn't affected because he is a vegetarian. Many foods are processed, and some animal-based protein will have antibiotics injected, like the beta agonist. Seafood will have heavy metal, pieces of plastic. These foods are different from the foods we knew before, so when we want to teach our grandparents about vegetarianism, we are giving them a chance to enrich their knowledge. Under the premise of being grateful and respectful, parents are able to talk with their parents, receiving support from seniors in the family, and allowing children to walk on the healthy path of vegetarianism. Many scientific studies have shown that a vegetarian diet is healthy, but for growing children, does vegetables affect their growth? Let's take a look at the experience of Li Hongqi, who has been a vegetarian from her mother's womb to adulthood, and the experience of Zhuang Zhiwen's children who were exposed to vegetarian food since youth. Li Hongqi has been a vegetarian baby from her mother's womb. Her mother always prepared healthy and nutritious vegetarian meals for her. When she was a child, she was full of fantasy about many foods and wanted to test them. But when she grew up, she still insists on being a vegetarian. I think we have no right. We cannot eat animals because of our desires. They are also alive. In fact, being vegetarian is better for your health. In terms of nutrition, 
Although it is possible that some nutrients are difficult to obtain from plants, they are still available. It seems that if you really pay attention to vitamin B12, there is still something to replace. I think there's a way to do it. The Hong Chi's mother is very strict with the child's diet. Every meal and snacks for the child are made with natural ingredients. She wants to ensure that every bite eaten by child is healthy food. She only started eating ice cream in the second and third grades. The ice cream she ate was made by me crushing frozen bananas. Now that she is older, she can do whatever she likes. But my principle is that she must eat a lot of vegetable every day. What she wants to eat out, I don't care much. Zhuang Zhiwen and his wife were vegetarians before they got married, so the children naturally followed them. Looking at the children's superior sports performers proves that vegetarian babies can also be very healthy. When our first child was a vegetarian, we were a little bit worried about whether she would be weaker or smaller. Later we discovered that there is no such problem. The eldest daughter is the champion of cross-country racing. They are also representatives of the basketball team. The performance of this intense exercise is not that bad. They will not be affected intellectually. I will be healthier if I eat a vegetarian diet. Sometimes I share my food with my friends, and sometimes they also eat vegetarian food. Many of my friends have taken sick leave, but I have never taken sick leave. Yeah, I hope. You must love animals and the earth, and then you must be a vegetarian if you want to be healthy. On the way to vegetarian children, Li Weiying and Zhuang Zhiwen proved that vegetarian food does not affect the development of children, and the vegetarian children can also be healthy. A sleep survey reports that, after collecting data for 13 countries in Europe, America, and Asia, amongst the 13,000 adults, 70% of the people experience sleeping issues during pandemic, and 40% will wake up during midnight. Further medical research has discovered that Patients with sleep apnea, after contracting COVID-19, have three times the chance of being hospitalized compared to a normal person. Sleep disorder often obstructs with our immune system, as it can also increase our chances of getting ill. In this report, let's find out how researchers detect sleep quality and determine the cause of poor sleep. Someone used lab rats for the experiment. After attaching sensors to their brain, when the rays goes into the phase of rapid eye movement, researchers will electrocute the lab rat, waking it up and preventing it from the sleeping. After a week, the lab rat dies suddenly. The sleep experiment with lab rats displayed the importance of sleep. If humans have sleep disorders, their immune system will be affected. In our bodies, we have a lot of hormones, and it repairs and generous during the sleep at midnight. So if you have bad sleep, you can produce hormones normally for the infecting our internal section and immune system. At night, patients suffering from sleep apnea will experience a sudden stop of breathing, causing them to wake up to cast their breath. This condition will affect the patient's automatic nervous system. If you have a sleep apnea, you will wake up every night due to the lack of oxygen. This means that whenever you sleep, you are still running a marathon. In the daytime, if you cannot rest well, your heart during midnight will be exhausted, causing poor sleep quality and poor health. We are normal. Look at the blood here. It brings oxygen from our lungs and transports it to multiple organs around our body. If we lack oxygen, the oxygen delivered to our organs will begin to leak. So during sleeping, some organs might experience a lack of oxygen. Therefore, in the long run, organs might experience difficulties in functioning. Sleep disorder is very serious in Taiwan. One out of five people will experience such issue. In order to test sleep quality, one must go to sleep center to stay overnight. I actually have sleeping issues. Therefore, on behalf of occasion, I will be here to detect my sleep quality.
The sleep quality detection test examines 10 different areas, like the four sensors at my head. It detects my brain waves. And along with the eye movement tracker, doctors are able to understand when I experience the phase of the falling asleep, like sleep or deep sleep. Newborn babies normally have a longer period of deep sleep, as they also have a longer duration of rapid eye movement, giving them better sleep time and quality sleep for growth. As one ages, our light sleep duration increases as deep sleep duration decreases. If we sleep in different place, it's normal that we will have poor sleep quality. At about 12 a.m. midnight, we will experience rapid eye movement. Though the duration is short, we will wake up again and fall right back to sleep. So you will wake up around 3 a.m., but you cannot go back to sleep again. The electrogram will display data of patients' teeth grinding habits during sleep, along with an EEG. During the patient's light sleep period, if they start to grind their teeth, then the action itself can be determined as an affecting factor of good quality sleep. The electrogram of the feet's condition detects feet movement, as some patients will wake up midnight due to leg spasm. If patients experience long-term poor sleep quality, this may be lack of sleep hours or poor sleeping efficiency. It could also be the way they sleep or sleep apnea. This will all lead up to the worsened immune system. This is our reporter's EEG. The green color means awake and the red color means asleep. If the red area adds up to less than an hour and the rest are green signs, this means that the person experiences sleep interruption every hour. You cannot achieve deep sleep for your age now. It's hard to reach deep sleep. Though you are almost there due to your age, you must have a bit of a deep sleep displayed around the third area on the grave. Catheters installed in an nostril detects airflow as it observes the change of one's breathing process. During sleeping, if you lack oxygen 100 times and the report shows sleep times of 5 hours, this means for every hour you will lack oxygen 20 times. The 20 times isn't that serious, so 15 to 30 times means moderate, and above 30 we will have a serious issue. The sensors installed at the chest and waist can detect patient's condition while they lie down to sleep or sleep sideways. Many patients who sleep sideways do not experience sleep apnea, yet when they sleep facing up, they experience sleep apnea. If the results are good, yet you still experience poor sleep quality, this might be caused by mental stress. Doctors suggest that in order to avoid poor sleep quality, one must develop a routine and work out. This helps with relaxing both muscles and emotions, further improving our sleep quality. In Malaysia, Siji Kara Chapter invited a naturopathy lecturer to teach citizens how to experience nature through eating natural food. At the scene, attendees felt the wonderfulness of vegetarian food. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.